hello and welcome to a new Let's Play video, or what am I playing? Something by Konami. Have I, did I? Do you know, I've realised I might have done this joke before, because I might have done one video of this game. Uh, it's Castlevania Symphony of Night, and I just skipped over the menu without really paying attention. Oops. Um, right, sorry about no video last week. It was all crazy, and then I tried to do one in the week to make up, and the footage didn't record, and it was all a bit lame. But never mind, I'm here now. Uh, I am the pedant, the internet pedant, uh, but you don't have room to put all that in the box in this. And yeah, this is one of my favourite games ever! Uh, I really like Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And frankly, after the horror, the absolute horror that was Captain Planet and the Planeteers, I needed to do something I liked. And this is what I'm going to do! Yay! Wow, check out this play mid PlayStation 1 era. FMV. Those are real 3D polygons there. Not being rendered by the PlayStation, you understand. Uh, this is all pre-rendered. Because this this was... I mean, this was some serious silicon graphics workstation stuff right here. It wasn't. Uh, actually, I don't know why it looks as bad as it is, because I'm fairly sure the PlayStation could have rendered this in real time and had it look better. Never mind. Okay, maybe those little... That was it. They needed the little shines of lightning on the bricks. Uh, or tiles, I don't know, they look like bricks to me. Uh, which which probably they couldn't have done. So, you know, they wound up having to do this entire thing pre-rendered and it looks terrible. Never mind. So we are now uh, heading up to the final battle against Dracula. No, you haven't missed a load of parts, don't worry. Oh, bit of slow down there, apologies. This emulator doesn't like certain things. I'm, I promise you it's about to sort itself out. There we go. Right, don't worry about any of this stuff, it's irrelevant. But I'm going to say anyway, don't know why. Uh, yeah, there we go, get that, get that. Die, monster! You don't belong uh, Richter in this world! Richter being a German name, Die Monster obviously it means the monster. I'm sure I've heard that joke before as well. Flesh. Whatever. Here's Dracula, yay! Humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You this is not tribute. Souls this is just, your you know the best song in the Perhaps world. Wait, I've got it all backwards, all haven't I? <laughs> your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind but, but no, he doesn't have a soul. You're, you're, you. What you've said is you don't have what any words, but he does because he's a speaking. Little pile of oh, secrets. I'm getting but confused now. Have at you, have at you indeed. <laughs> right. God, I wish I still had the adapter for, to let me plug, uh, plug, plug, plug a PlayStation controller into the PC. But never mind, actually I do, it just doesn't work. Still got it. I didn't chuck it away, you really silly. Why well, chuck away something that doesn't work? Right, so what what's going on here? Basically, back Dracula, he's going to throw loads of fireballs, and then I'm going to keep getting hit by him, because I keep forgetting the exact timing to do with the funky back, uh, backflip, black flip to get over them. I can't see anything recently. Oh, he didn't do his little... Normally he says, oh, here is true power! And then you jump over that. Never mind. See, I've got it this time. That's what you meant to do. I do that every time. Never mind. Um, you're probably wondering why you start off with the final battle first. Uh, the answer is you don't. You don't actually have this... Bo oh, do you? Wait, do you have this bit of boss? I don't think. I don't think you have this boss battle for reals later. And in fact, you don't really place this guy later. So, uh, yeah, just just mild spoiler there. Oops, shouldn't have done that. Never mind. Nearly got him. Come on, I can do this. I can do this, yeah! Uh, come on. Oh, no. Oh. oh, you can just jump over that. You can I forgot that he can actually move in midair. He's not like Castlevania heroes of older games. You can actually turn around and be like, whoa. Sorry about the weird textures. Don't really know what's going on. Oops, hold on, pay attention. Sorry, I'm scratching my back. You really need to know that. There we go. Just keep hitting him and hitting him and hitting him. And oh, oh, oh. Oh, he got me. Quick, small girl, save me with arbitrary creatures. Yay, tortoise, other things that you can't see because of the end of the screen. The end of the screen. Yay. This would look really impressive if I was not right at the edge. Right, basically now I'm invincible. Um, which does make this battle a bit pointless. Yeah, there you go. Let's go, let's go jump on. Oh, what? I don't know what's going on there. That's meant to be a photograph of what just happened. 
Um, I think that the emulator settings I'm using are not the best. <laughs> if we carry on having problems, I'll fiddle about a bit. Never mind. Yes, I was Richter Belmont. Uh, there's actually, um, if, if you look online, there's a video of me completing all this already in one setting in one day. Setting, sitting. What is wrong with me? For a couple of months now, I've been messing up words every other sentence. It's ridiculous. Anyway, as I was saying, there is a video of me beating all this in one go, just with the camera pointed at my telly. Bit useless. So if you, if you don't want to watch the rest of this video, uh, you can go and watch that instead. It's on some website that I've forgotten. It's cracking. Anyway, I am I am not going to be Richter Belmont because I'm going to be Alucard, a man named Alucard. And presumably that means I'm a miserable little pile of secrets called Alucard. And yet, that's right, I teamed up with someone to battle. No, Dracula wasn't Trevor Belmont's father. Oh, oh Alucard's father. <laughs> that makes sense. Why did Aluc Why did Dracula just name his son his first his, his name backwards? Actually, Dracula's his surname, because it's set up there. He's Adrian Vlad Tapes. Dracula. So that means Alucard's name is Alucard Dracula and it's the same backwards as forwards. That all just, just seems really stupid to me. I mean Dracula, he's meant to be this sort of this evil presence, this this almost romantic but subversive, hypnotic, you know, evil force that terrorizes the populace. And when it came to his son's name, he was like, <laughs> what if I just spell it the surname backwards? It'd be right funny. Bit weird. Anyway. Uh, there's also, you will have seen a video of me playing a bit of this before. Maybe, if you watch one of the Halloween ones, where I pretended I didn't know how to play it. <laughs> and I pretended that that was the end of the game and I didn't know what was going on. Oh, it was funny. It was so funny. There's also, on the 360, there's a demo of this. Which you can buy it on 360. There's download title. It's great. And the only bit you see is that first battle. You never actually play as Alucard, as I recall. It's the worst demo ever because that doesn't show off any of the game at all. It, it plays completely different. It's bizarre. Anyway. Alright, this is Alucard. He is a Dracula son. <laughs> I, I just said that all wrong and decided I need to find a way to fix it. And I did, so that's alright. Uh, Dracula, Alucard. Oh. Alucard uh, is famous for his ability to get owned by zombies like this, of course. Um, but never mind. Oh, and he can also level up, which is good, because you'll be seeing me do a lot of that. I don't know how long uh, this Let's Play can take, but I'm going to enjoy every minute of it, I reckon, because this game's fantastic. It really is. I've played, played it through God knows how many times, just because I want to. Oops. Oh, come on, kill that bat. It's important. I can't beat the game if I don't kill that bat. It's a lie. It's probably a way to do it. Um, <laughs> probably a way to do it. I say it like it's this major obstacle. <laughs> you know, you have to find a way to try and get around it without killing it to get some kind of super secret end. No, it's not like that. Uh, go here for no reason. Oh, look, it's a room. Bye. Don't know why I did that. It's pointless. Oh, check out that music. That's music that says, yes, this is epic. What are you going to do? Okay. Bam! Those big, those big things are called water things. They're not as tough as they look. Well, you can probably guess that by now. Killing them in one hit! In fact, I've killed all the enemies in one hit because I'm just that tough. Check out my stats, man. Check that out. Look, I've got 15 strength ready. Look, I've already got bonus 4 of strength and 10 of con consti constitution. Is it constitutional constituency? I think that's a political phrase. What else we got? Uh, relics. Oh, look at all those non-relics. Got system. Great. I can I can set change my buttons. Uh, don't think I'll be doing that really. Ooh, let's let's, let's change this. Yeah, I, th I think we all want it to look like this, right? Yeah, that's that's great. Uh, let's let's just have let's have that. That looks all right. Sound. Come on, beautiful stereo. You tell me I've been playing through the whole thing all, t uh, all this time. All these cutscenes have all been in mono. Ooh, look at all this. Look at all this stuff. I've got my own sword named after me. Dragon up. Check that out. Lowers enemy defense. Pretty great. Uh, and I've got the necklace of Jay. Who's Jay? He's the guy who owns the necklace, obviously. Alright, right. 
Oh, what's this all about? That looks like the Grim Reaper, and he is called Death, so... What is your business? It seems reasonable to assume I've that that is, in fact, this. he. Still befriending mortals. Well, well, no, apparently I've, I've been, like, sleeping in a coffin for the past few hundred years, so... I mean, it's not I like I'm inviting not. any of my mates to come along and help me out. In fact, words. what are you on about? You, you I just said I wanted dad. to see my dad, and you're like, oh, you, you've been befriending humans, have you? It's like, what? what? No, no. I just want to have a chat, you know, cup of tea. And now he's nicked all my stuff. Look at this. It's rubbish. All that cool gadgetry. You know, I was practically a medieval Batman, and now I'm just a medieval Iron Fist. No good. Okay. Uh, oops. Never mind. Right. Clearly, clearly going to fall down a lot, which would be great. That's, that's what I want to do. Uh, yeah, stupid thing in the game. You have this backdash move, which you're meant to do to dodge enemy attacks like this. Yay. Uh, but, stupidly, it's also the best way of moving around in the game. So, you're going to be seeing me, a lot of the time, facing the opposite direction to where I'm going to go, and just doing this stupid animation backwards all the time. Oh, is that good? Isn't it just lovely? Okay. Uh, this guy drops sword. Red Rust. Red Rust is useless. It does slightly more damage. Um... Uh, it's got better reach, but every time you use it, there's a chance it's going to stick in the scabbard. Because it's rusty, you see? Red rust. Get it? Do you understand now? I don't want to have to explain it again, alright? Just, just pay attention. You can always rewind the video. Just, 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 just stop complaining. Yay, I got the Cube of Zoe. I uh, don't know why it's called the Cube of Zoe, but it lets the uh, lanterns, lanterns, lights, candles, candlesticks, candlestick holders, and anything with a, a sort of brightness. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh, I forgot there's boobies in the, in the, um, in the loading rooms. Oh, oh dear. Um, can I show this on YouTube? Oh, a la carte, don't look. It's naughty. Right, anyway. I think, I think you could even see a pixelated nipple. <sighs> Edgy stuff. Right. Anyway, Cube of Zoe, uh, lets these drop stuff, just like doing all the other games. In fact, I don't really know why they bothered not just letting it do that straight away. I don't know why they made that next item, seeing as it's one of the first things you get. Uh, oh well, whatever, I'm sure they had their reasons. Ah oh, well. Right, that would have been easier had I had a shield, but I didn't have a shield. Uh, so you can't really... Oh, oh, that's not good. I'm, I'm losing health fast. There we go, shield. Shields are good because they raise your defense just passively and let you block stuff, as shields tend to do. Which is pretty useful against skeletons that throw stuff and archers that throw stuff. Arrows. Well, don't really throw them. Sort of fire them. Oh, save rooms. You don't necessarily need to save them if you don't want, but going to them does heal you completely, which is nice. Don't know why I'm putting this voice on. I'm saying all this kind of stuff this time. I don't know why. I think it's because I've been watching too many videos by... Oh god! That guy who does that thing that I was just talking about. Is it Total Biscuit? He does that. He has those weird inflections. Well, not that weird. I mean, let's be honest. The like plane is a lot weird out there. Okay, secret passage. Because I know this game like the back of my hand. And that's why I've come down here to get... A life max up, and now I can have more hit points without leveling up. It's brilliant. This way. See, see now there are other ways to find the secret door. I mean, actually, you can see there, there was sort of a little heart max up. Yeah, um, the pattern of the wall kind of showed. Ooh, there's a bit of a weird shape there, and stuff like that. Uh, I've got daggers, sub weapon, knives, just like the other Castlevanias. Great. I'm not a big fan of the earlier Castlevanias. But I think they really, really played a blinder by choosing to go the Metroidvania as a cool route like this game. I think the original Castlevania on the MSX actually did a similar thing, but I've never played it, so I don't really know. Anyway, what was I talking about? I don't know. It's probably really, really, really important. Okay, you can use this to go up this way. I can't remember if there's a reason to do that or not, or if it's just kind of looped back away you'll go later on. No, no, it doesn't. Going this way, let's get a new item. Now, I do kind of tend to go out of the way to get every item and go to every room. 
even though quite often stuff isn't really all that useful to be honest. I mean here we get a cape and the cape gives me a bit more health, uh, sorry a bit more armour anyway. Uh, we're not, um, armor's not the right term, is it defense? Yeah, defense, there we go, that's what they call it. Uh, raising my defense by one, which is good. But not as good as later, I think. Oh gosh, if only I'd use my shield. See? It's good. They're not all that tough. They're not all that in a bag of chips, whatever the phrase is. I think that's it. I th I, that's my phrase for the day, I think that's it. Oh dear, I've been cursed. Uh, basically, what cursing does is really lower all your stats. So suddenly my defense is really low, my attack's really low. Bit rubbish. Never mind. Handy dandy save room. Uh, there aren't quite as many save rooms dotted around elsewhere in the game. It's just near this, near the start, these first few areas. It, it, it wants to hold your hand. Right, basically. What have I got here? Another heart, some money, pointless stuff. I really wish I wasn't cursed. Yay, I've changed weapon. One of the things this added from some of the later Castlevania games on like the SNES and stuff is when you pick up a sub weapon, the other weapon doesn't just go, it like drops behind you so you can pick it up. It's a bit nice like that. Right, uh, here is the map. And that's where I've gone so far. Nifty. Uh, I really wish I wasn't cursed. State is poison. Oh, it's, yeah, poison, sorry. Not curse. Anyway, anyway. Look, I'm just going to have to put up with it. Because it's time for a... Bo oh, there, it's gone. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, it hasn't. Oh, whatever. Hang on, have I got an item to take care of that? I never really pay attention to my usable items. No, I haven't. Well, that was that, anyway. What are we going to face? Oh, it's, it's these guys. It's Bobby Jeff and Jimmy Ho. I don't know what kind of name Jimmy Ho is actually. Anyway, right. Uh, if possible, you want to kill the flying one first, because that's definitely the meaner one. And it gets significantly meaner once it's the only one left. I mean, hopefully I can kill them both at once. That would be nice. Shield. Oops, that one hit me over the shield, unfortunately. Oh, come on. Oh, nasty. So it gets that. Oh, what? do you know? I always thought it just did that once to kill the first one, but I guess if you're injured enough, it just goes for it. Oh, well, lesson learned. No point in hanging around. Let's just kill them both. Come on, come on. More hearts. Oh, he's lost his staff. Common problem at his age. Oh, did I kill them both? I did, I killed them both at the same time. Fantastic. Well, that was just damn impressive. And I get another life up and some lag. Brilliant. Okay. Well, that was all right. There, there we are. That's the first boss battle. Hope you liked it. Uh, it's the only one you can see in this part. I think, I think I'm about done. So I'll get to the save point. Not very far away. And we'll, uh, actually, do you know what? Let's just fill in the gaps on the map first, because you can go this way, I think. I think this is, uh, the elevator system. If I'm right, you'll know exactly what I mean. Yeah, here we go. So it's got this elevator. Uh, wonderful thing about this game is it's got lots and lots of little elements, little gameplay things that are only used once. Uh, and this is one of them. There's no elevators. Well, there is one of elevator in the game, but it's very different. Um... They don't work quite the same way, and it just makes the areas feel distinctive. It makes it feel like there's lots of little secrets that if you could only look at them the right way, you could figure out what's going on a bit better. But, yeah, it just makes the game feel full. They clearly put effort into it. They wanted to have lots of little details, and it just, it's just nice. It's just, this game's nice. It's a nice game about wandering a gothic uh, hell. Yeah, take that, a bit of wall. And I got the Basilard, which is basically a little dagger. It's not as powerful as the short sword. It hasn't got the range the short sword has. Well, actually, it's not bad. But you can use it really quickly, so you can do high damage, which is good. Okay, that actually leads to a bit earlier on, but I'll head back up first. Don't know why I'm taking the elevator. Uh, I guess it's the quickest way, technically. Look, if he's standing on the edge of a platform, or this elevator, for some reason, he has a different standing pose. 
And if you hold up, which is normally the international hand symbol for, you know, here's my sub weapon pose. You ready for this? See? But on the elevator, completely different. You know, when he's on the, it's, he, he does his cape in front of him. Looks really cool. Great game. This shield, uh, don't know what I'm talking about. Has that got a little animation for? Oh, it kind of stretches, doesn't it? As it whips around in front, they've tried to sort of do a 3D effect. That's not bad. Right, bit more money, bit more hearts. A few more hearts, even a bit more hearts. That's not a very good sound. See, the battle art, it's just, just destroys it. Right. Anyway, I think this, oops, hold on. I think this is the save room right here. Yeah, here we go. So, next time on Castlevania Symphony of the Night, uh, we are going to head up and then right a bit. You're going to see a few new areas. Okay, bye!